All right, Jurassic World fans, I'm back. And I'm finally getting around to reviewing all these Matchbox cars that I found. Uh, I've had to find some different ones uh, at different stores, but I think I got all of them. Pretty sure there's more coming out and that they haven't all been released. Uh, they're listed on the back and I haven't seen them, uh, some of them at any stores and I haven't seen any of them on YouTube. So I believe there's a wave two coming, but I'm pretty sure I picked up everything that's out so far. So let me show you what I got. First up, this is the Mission Force Pack, which I've only seen, I believe, at Toys R Us, uh, $10.99. It has a helicopter and a plane, and then three exclusive vehicles that aren't in any of the other packages. On the back, it talks about the five vehicles that are in here. So, $10.99, and you do get the two flying vehicles. Next up, we've got the five packs. And on the back of the five pack, it says that there are three uh, that are available desert island and jungle this is the desert and jungle the island pack from everything I can see has yet to be released um, Have again have never seen them on YouTube and have not seen them in any stores for sale So I believe that's a five pack that will be coming up And finally we have the carded individual cars and there are 15 of these listed on the back and in this first wave I believe there are only seven available um, because that's all, again, I found at any store or seen anyone review. So here are the seven of those up close. And so that's all of them. And I'm not a car collector, I'm not a die cast collector, I'm not a Hot Wheels collector or Matchbox car collector. If I like something, I'll pick it up, but not super knowledgeable about cars. You may have picked that up from my last uh, vehicle review, but I like Jurassic World. And I think these cars are pretty cool. These are a buck 49. I think this is all really reasonably priced and it's fun to have you know some small vehicles from the film. So I'm gonna open these up and I'm not gonna review them from a car standpoint, I know a lot of these, especially I've heard that these five packs are regular Matchbox cars that are have been out that are reskinned for Jurassic World. I don't know about any of that, so I'm just going to review the vehicle based on whether or not I think it looks cool and whether or not I think it's a good vehicle for Jurassic World. So let's tear these things open and uh, we'll see what we got. Okay, so let's get started with the individually carded cars. So first up, the Rock Shocker. And the card art is really nice on these, keeping in line with the rest of the Jurassic World toy line. And on the back, you can see that it's the Rock Shocker checked off on the list of 15 available cars. Like I said, uh, only seven available right now from everything I can tell. So let's take a look and uh, open this up. see I don't open a lot of diecast vehicles so not an expert and I'm not planning on saving the packaging on these so so here's the rock shocker and up close you can see it's got that Jurassic World symbol there kind of looks like it might be a Raptor on there this is in line with the blue and silver that we've seen on the vehicles in the film and it's got some wear and tear there, some kind of mud. Obviously has, you know, a um, big grill here and some sort of... I'm not sure what that is. For hauling or for going over mud. This is uh, definitely some sort of industrial truck. I don't know if it's for transport. I don't think there's anything to transport any dinosaurs in. Uh, we'll see that in some of the later vehicles. Black on the bottom says Rock Shocker, but uh, yeah, it's nice to have a vehicle that is in line with the color scheme from the film. Up next, let's do the Mahler Holler. And yeah, this one looks really great. So let's take a look at that. 
And there's the dinosaur Jurassic World symbol again. This has got a nice army green on the front. Black bottom, black tires. And this is definitely, look at that. This is not a reused vehicle from other Matchbox lines. We got a, we got dinosaur bones and nice chain wrapped around there. And this is obviously, you know, for transporting dinosaurs. And this was called the Mahler Holler. So definitely, uh, you know, gonna be transporting some carnivorous dinosaurs with this, as you can see. Maybe uh, one was eaten while they were in there together. But uh, I love this one. This is really good. This is one I've been looking forward to opening. This is the Desert Thunder V16. And it just looks really cool from the packaging. It looks almost like, uh, you know, kind of Lost World packaging. So uh, I've been excited to open this one up. There it is on the back. So the Desert Thunder V16, and take a look at that. Dinosaurs all over the place. It's probably showing every dinosaur from the park. Let's see, Mosasaur, the T-Rex, Stegosaurus, um, Dimorphodon, Gallimimus, Apatosaurus, Pteranodon, I think that's all of them. Jurassic World, 99.7% pure, genetically altered DNA. Some tires on the back, some supplies, gas tank, shovel on the top. Does it open or do anything? No. But uh, this is a great looking vehicle. I love the yellow on this. This reminds me of, uh, you know, something from The Lost World. The Cliffhanger. This one's a little bit bland. Let's tear into it here. The green is very reflective. It's not picking up as well. Oh, there you go. All right, so actually, not as bland as I thought. You got DNA there. What looks like the Indominus Rex on the front. Some of that. Got a little yellow and black on there, tire on the back. Just a little, not even sure if it's a, yeah, it's just a small little vehicle for, for going around the park. But uh, that's a cool picture on the front there. Don't know how practical it is that they would drive around with that picture on the front, but good little vehicle. Jurassic World's ground crew. This is this is a the travel tracker. So. Here's another one that looks like a pretty practical vehicle that would be uh, actually in the park. Oh, it's got some cool features here. Look at this. So right on the front, you can see it's hauling some sort of motorcycle or dirt bike. Um, you know, don't know if it's the one we're seeing in the film, but like I said, Jurassic World grounds crew. And it's got seating in there for people to sit, uh, you know, back to back. Tons of supplies on the top, love the detail on that. Love that, uh, we got a little ladder, but I love that bike on the front. I think that looks fantastic. And uh, yeah, another good vehicle. All right, this one's a little different. This is the Sea Spy. And it says Jurassic World. Not a lot of room to get any decals on there for pictures of dinosaurs, but we'll, uh, we'll tear into this. When I said tear, I mean literally tear. The Jurassic World Sea Spy. And it says Isla Nublar on there. But I can't really see what else. It's got some of the DNA looking decal on it. Three motors and uh, seats for about six people back to back and then a driver with some detail for chains and other things, obviously uh, used around the island. There's some wheels on the bottom too. So there's that. And finally, the MBX 4x4, another small vehicle, looks like it 
again has an interesting uh, you know attachment there on the front looks like it has the official Jurassic World detail uh, decal on it here but we will look at it up close yep the official Jurassic World decal is on both sides it has the number 10 uh, seats for two and that's pretty much it it's got almost like a tractor uh, matte finish on it um, so another yeah, utility vehicle probably used around the park so here are the first seven out of the package of the single carded matchbox cars and i think they're pretty cool for a dollar 49 uh a piece i think they're worth it